it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from America, all the way from America, all the way over to across the Atlantic Ocean, landing in the shelves of home bargains in a 355 milliliter can. For I kid you not, £1.89. £1.89 for this DC Brow, the Corruption India Pale Ale. Brewed and canned in Washington, DC by DC Brow Brewing Company. If you think of, we'll, we'll get to the review in a moment, but if you think of all of the laggers, the bottle laggers that I've been reviewing on the channel over the last few months, and you, you think that some of them or most of them have been brewed in their respected country, Spain or, or France or, you know, Belgium. And you turn out, it, it turns out that most of these beers are in fact brewed in the UK. And they're charging more for those beers than this beer that's come all the way from America. Now bear in mind, this Corruption India Pale Ale is 6% ABV in a 355 milliliter can for £1.89. I think that's terrific, absolutely fantastic. And well done to Home Bargains, well done to Home Bargains. I have not been over the years the most kind of thumbs up to Home Bargains with their beer. I've been a little bit critical over the years, but I, I think the last 18 months in Home Bargains, Home Bargains, if you're watching around the world, is a is a chain of it says exactly what it says on the tin that it is it's like a bargain basement chain of stores throughout the UK. They deal in a lot of bankrupt stock. Let's hope DC Brow are not bankrupt. Um, but uh, no, in all seriousness, um, their beers over the last fifteen years have not been terrific. They've not been fantastic. Although I used to be able to find Francis Cana in there for a pound a bottle years ago. Don't see that anymore for a pound. Um, but I mean, yeah, let's just hope this is good. Let's hope this is good because I've just kind of sang its praise before I've even opened the can. Let's get the beer out into a glass then, see what we get. I tell you what I'm hoping for here, and I think my wishes are about to come true. I'm hoping for a good old fashioned American IPA. Remember the American IPAs where you had loads of kind of stonking bitterness on the back end? The IBUs were like 60 or 70. International bittering units, that is. 100 international bittering units is the most your palate will take in terms of bitterness. And of course, zero IBUs is the, the least your palate's going to take. So beers used to get up to about 60 or 70 IBUs. Let's hope this is an old school American IPA. I fancy one today. We got a one finger whitehead, good levels of carbonation rolling up the glass. It's an amber, slightly hazy amber colored beer. Let's get the aroma on this one then. I might be right. I might be getting my wishes here. This is, you get that kind of classic American sweet backbone to the beer. little bit of like a syrupy candied aroma to it and then just loads and loads of hops resinous piney hops coming through this looks great smells great let's dive in cheers everybody one pound 89 Oh, here it comes. Big lag. Big, big lag in the bitterness, but it finally arrives. I'm kind of waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for this bitterness. I, I could taste it. I could taste the resinous. I could taste the pine needle. 
like walking through a lovely forest and picking up some pine needles and rubbing them together and kind of getting that nose, that fresh nose of pine. A little bit of grapefruit in there, orange peel, fleshy blood orange, nice and bitter. It's nice and bitter on the back end. And once that bitterness kicks in, it's quite a longing bitterness. It stays around for quite a long time. But it does start off quite sweet. It's definitely that classic American malty barley sweetness that kicks things off. And then, yeah, here's the bitterness. In the second part of the taste here, drinking this beer a little bit more, there's a little bit more bitterness popping through now. Mm. And it's really good. It's really good. It probably, if you were to ask me to identify a beer that this is close to, it's probably a little bit like the old um, flying dog, doggy style. That sort of beer, or your kind of your Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. The classic American brews. The brews that put... American craft beer on the map. Really, really put American craft beer on the map. And that's wonderful. That's terrific. It really is. Because I used to love buying these beers. I used to love... Before Britain... we had, Before we had lots and lots of craft breweries opening in Britain, you used to find an awful lot of American craft beer on these shores. And I do miss it. I do miss the American craft beer scene on these shores. I miss looking online and at my brewery tap and ales by mail and beers of Europe and seeing the vast, the vast array of American craft beer on their websites because we have our own. I'm very proud of our own craft beer here in the UK. I really am. But there is a part of me that longs and wishes for some more American craft beer. I'd always want to go to San Diego. That would be my kind of dream trip. San Diego, USA. Go and try all this amazing American craft beer. Right, so, uh, corruption facts. In 1824, Speaker of the House, Henry Clay, forged a coalition that secured the White House for John Quincy Adams. In return, Adams named Clay as his Secretary of State in what became known as the Corrupt Bargain. Of course, these guys are based in Washington. It's all kind of based probably on political history, which is quite cool, isn't it? I never knew that. I've never heard of John Quincy Adams. Never heard of him. Or Henry Clay, for that matter. But i tell you what I have heard of. DC Brown. And they've just landed this beer at 6% ABV on British shores in home bargains for £1.89 a can. For me... For that price, you can't go wrong. It's a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Why not a 10? Could probably do with a little bit more bitterness. I was waiting a little bit too long for that bitterness to kick in. I wanted it to land a bit quicker. But hey ho, 9 out of 10 is still a fantastic score for this beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.